Well, meanwhile, President <laughs> Biden announcing new steps to provide student loan relief to borrowers, something progressive lawmakers have been pushing for. What does Republican Utah Congressman Burgess Owen make of all these new plans? He joins me now. Great to see you, Congressman. Thanks for being here. Uh, let's just talk about student debt loan, if you don't mind, first. And, and the fact that uh, it, is, it is actually something that middle-class Americans are going to have to pay for upper-class Americans if it had gone through. 60% of student <clears throat> debt is owned by folks in the top 40%. So, again, it's, it's a kind of regressive uh, thing, something that was pointed to by the Liberal Urban Institute a couple of years ago. They said, quote, debt forgiveness plans would be regressive, providing the largest monetary <laughs> benefits to those with the highest incomes. Do you agree? Oh, it's absolutely. And American people get this. Uh, it's not fair. Uh, and at the end of the day, this is what we're dealing with the last two years. We have a president who's wandering through this presidency, uh, and he want, he's, a, he's a dictator wannabe. Uh, he's, he's doing things that he knows is not going to work. We knew from the very beginning, uh, a year and a half, two years ago, when this, start process, this, this process started, it would not work. But what he does, he gets the hopes of people who don't know better, who don't understand that the, the branches of our government, that understand that this power comes from the legislative branch, not from presidency. So use this to get people's hopes up. And of course, once the, the, the popes are drained, he then blames somebody else for his uh, his hapless uh, approach on this whole process. Well, no, we're, we're, we're going to be he okay. Get, forgive me for interrupting me. Authority in the in the house. Yes. We're going to have oversight. And let me just say this, David. He has they have this new deal that they're looking at coming out uh, coming out with. Let me tell you the, the thing about this new deal. Now, first of all, it it stops. The only thing it does is does the, the non-payment does not be is not uh, given to the credit for uh, for credit. Uh, uh, reconciling but what it does it does not stop the uh the compounding interest right. so those who will not be paying their 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 uh, what they owed will be gaining interest and and compounding interest throughout the whole process and that's what we have to get away from that is where we're, we're, we get our folks in a lot of trouble uh with this uh this predatory interest process that the uh, government's put on on a lot of these loans what i was going to say is that the president did use this issue uh in order to get elected it was one of the things that led to his election uh, will voters now turn on him because he wasn't able to pull it through? Because now, now people realize that it was unconstitutional. Well, it depends on how we get the messaging out. What they depend on is a, a populist is that uh, is, is ignorant. Ignorant free can never be Thomas Jefferson. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to message out that it was the Republicans' problem or the Republicans' fault. They were they were not able to get what they what they think they deserve. If the American people understand that this was never going to happen. Not only did the president make that statement, but of course Pelosi did too. It never was in baked in to what's going to happen. Uh, they understand that. They realize they're, they're being used, and that's what these these hard leftists are doing. They they are uh, predatory. Uh, they're parasites when it comes to hope. They suck the hope out of anybody who believes in them, and then they, they, then they point fingers at somebody else's fault that didn't come through the way that, uh, that they promised. Congressman, I have to ask you about the affirmative action decision. Uh, uh, essentially outlawing race-based decisions and admissions uh, by the Supreme Court. And again, the president is saying he's going to find ways around it. He was kind of giving step-by-step -step suggestions to colleges about how to get around it. And it will also affect, it could also affect a lot of these corporations and their hiring decisions and promotion decisions. Uh, do you think the president will find another way around it in order to keep race-based uh, decisions in our, both, both our schools and, and our businesses? The blessing of this last uh, election cycle is the Republican Party is now has a majority. I happen to be the chair for the Howard Ed, uh, subcommittee, and we're going to make sure we have oversight. And, and if these colleges believe they can they can skirt the law, that they can discriminate against other people, there will be a price to be paid. We'll look at ways that we can defund. At the end of the day, uh, and, and by the way, these elitist colleges who say they uh, have no connection to federal, they have found their way to also pull from the taxpayers. So, uh, and, and this is the thing about affirmative action, I just need to have to remind my folks out there. This has been 60 years, 60 years of a policy that says one simple thing, that blacks cannot think as well as whites do. We don't see affirmative action in the football field or basketball or any Absolutely. other sports. It's always in, in, in the field of in, 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 in intelligence. And, and at the end of the day, when they start this process, the worst thing that can happen is we need to buy into this. And that's what's going on over the last 60 years. Black Americans, unfortunately, believe this idea that the only way they can compete against white Americans is to lower the bar. The mm. worst thing to happen to Americans when you do that. And of course, this is the, the, the parasitic idea of pulling people's hopes yeah. and dreams away and then giving them something else that, uh, that, that gets as far away from meritocracy as possible.
The great Burgess they're, they're Owens. To work, they're on site and we're going to make sure there's, there's a price. Great, on, they great on the football field and, and uh, great in Congress. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you spending your Saturday with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.